Syngenta Crop Protection Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on realagriculture.com. How important are certain variety characteristics to you? Well, our Identity Preserve program is, uh, is basically the foundation of, of what we do uh, both in Canada and in the UK. So we're, we're selecting specific uh, Canadian Western Red Spring varieties to, uh, to show attributes uh, in our bread that, that normal uh, CBRS varieties don't. So we're working with five varieties right now and they're giving us things like low volume and color that you know, just buying uh, generic uh, Western Red Spring might not give us. Um, so with that, the only way to get that, uh, those characteristics of those varieties is to use certified seed and to ensure that uh, it, is, it is pure and we keep those varieties separate all the way to, uh, to the terminals in, in eastern Canada here and that's where we build our grist. And um, with certified seed, um, is it, what kind of a farmer are you trying to attract with, the, with, with production? Is there a certain type of farmer? Well, we, we, we think that we like to think that we're doing business with some of the most progressive and, and uh, uh, forward-thinking producers in, in Canada here. Um, you know, obviously, uh, farmers that do value the, the do have value on certified seed, and uh, you know, take extra care. It's an IP program, so you know, extra care in, in, in planting and, and taking care of the crop through the growing season, and also harvesting and, and storage as well. Um, so certified seed is, is the core of what we do in, in, in Canada here, and also our IP program in the UK as well. And it is truly the only way to to get the quality attributes that we wanted of these varieties. Uh, how, how important is traceability uh, to your model? Uh, traceability is very important for us. Uh, food safety is, is a top concern for the uh, European and, and uh, UK uh, consumer and, and industry as well. There's uh, increasing regulation on that aspect and a big part of it is just uh, doing the proper due diligence uh, and having that in place within your system. So traceability is a, is a major uh, contributor to, to the uh, food safety standpoint. So it's not about you know tracing it back to, to the farm and and bringing up the, the big stick. It's about having that in place where if something does go wrong, we're able to uh, you know, find the problem, isolate the problem, make sure it doesn't happen again. So variety selection being very important, as you said, to your business, how do you go about choosing variety for your, uh, your bakery? Well, we're looking at uh, basically all the new uh, wheat varieties that are coming through the registration system. We work very closely with the plant breeders and, and the seed industry on, on that front. And what we're doing is we're, we're basically milling and baking and doing a lot of analytical work with these varieties and uh, testing them in, in, in environments where the farmers don't want to grow them. Um, so every year we do a, a massive uh, bake uh, session uh, after harvest and we look at our variety blends and varieties that we're potentially looking at as well and how they performed in, in Western Canada in specific areas. From there we build our, our program for the coming year of how uh, uh, where we're going to contract, who we're going to contract with, uh, which varieties are going to fit in the best areas to give us the quality we need. And it also has to uh, deliver some back to the farmer. We can't push varieties into areas where, where the farmers are going to want to grow them. Um, they're going to, they're going to, uh, the way I look at it is we want our program uh, to be healthy enough where, where a farmer is going to want to grow a variety anyways and it just so happens that there's a Warburton contract attached to that. So it's really a win-win for everybody. Right. And, and uh, obviously with, with the recent recessions across the world, really, there's, uh, uh, there's probably some changing eating habits to, to uh, some of your customers. And did you notice that within your company or is it... Yeah, you know, in the UK they've, uh, they've been uh, struggling through a recession for the last uh, little while here. And uh, what we've noticed anytime uh, a recession hits in Europe or in the UK is, is that people go back to, their, uh, to the staples. You know, we, we find that... Uh, White bread sales increase uh, uh, substantially. Um, people perceive that white bread is, is a cheaper product than, than whole grain products, even though that might not be the case in, in some uh, instances. But uh, people go back to you know what they grew up with and uh, you know what they perceive as as, as better value. Yeah. So and I'm, I'm thinking around the area you were, you were talking about uh, all the harvest samples. So I guess my question might be someplace around. Uh, you receive a tremendous amount of harvest samples, I understand, as, as they're collected to come off the fields right at harvest from the producers. How do you evaluate or what do you evaluate in those, work, in those samples and, and how do you do that work? Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll step back and 
we, we signed a contract, uh, a, a producer signed a contract with, with Orbertons and with our grain company partners in the spring. And uh, certified seed is required and uh, a few other uh, details um, throughout the year. And then they deliver uh, a harvest sample off the combine or, or shortly after uh, into Warburton's. And we're analyzing each of those samples um, for, uh, for our contract specs, things like uh, protein, uh, downgrading factors, uh, falling number, uh, several, several uh, uh, specifications. And from there, we're basically selecting uh, whatever meets our spec, whatever meets our needs for that year, um, depending on, on the growing conditions. Um, you know, it is a, it is a soft contract. If, if the farmer doesn't meet our, our specs, um, we allow them to uh, be released from the contract at no cost, and they are able to uh, sell the wheat to, to any other source uh, that they see through the, through the Canadian wheat uh, board system. Just, uh, just uh, in the UK marketplace, what does is, what is your consumer look for in a bread product? They're looking for, uh, so you said something about shelf life of your bread. We are, we are a premium product in the UK uh, marketplace and uh, in order for our consumers to uh, you know, offer that uh, and pay that premium, uh, they're looking for things like uh, freshness, um, things, uh, products that will that'll last longer not only on the shelf but also in their homes and uh, you know, bread that uh, lasts longer than our competitions basically. They see value in that. Um, obviously our, our, uh, our eatability, that's a, a new word, our, our, uh, our, our freshness, um, our softness, our resilience are all keys in order to uh, let our consumer perceive that, that quality and, and make sure that they're willing to pay that premium for the product. Great. Well, um, thanks for your time today, Adam, and it was, uh, it was great to have you on the week school. Okay, thank you very much.